Mike Jones, Hugh Akins. It's the one and only show for the end of the year. 2023 is gone, and this is the best of with a few bloopers. You're going to love it. Let's get inside and check it all out. Okay, suburban, big. A lot of people use them to tote kids. A lot of people get to tote stuff. And then a lot of people use them to put humongous base from kids. That's what we do. This gentleman came in and said, I want as much base as I can possibly get. Now, we have done a lot of big base vehicles over the last 40 years, but I'm telling you, this one is top of the food chain. This is absolutely unbelievable. Now, mids and highs are important. That's where the speakers come in. Uh, these are DS18 Pro Series speakers. They're called Super Tweeters. You see how they extend out. They literally are made to take absolutely, positively amazing amounts of power. In the factory locations at the bottom of the door, we have six and a half inch mid base woofers, and these are all crossed over to be able to play super loud. That's why they call super tweeters. Now, with that, we have 3,000 watts on mids and highs. So you got front mids and highs, you've got center mids and highs, you got super tweeters in the rear pillars back here. I'm gonna come around. Get super tweeters in the rear pillar right here, and then we cut five and a quarters custom into back there. Don't even get all this into your salivating just yet. Now, we have a floating screen here, which is Alpine. They are top of the food chain, got a built in EQ, parametric crossover network. They are just arguably one of the best radios made and have been for decades. Now, I'm going to do a demo, but I got to tell you about the power. To be able to run 19,000 watts of power, I see it says 3,000 watts on highs. 16,000 watts on base, you've got to have a lot of power. Now, limit, limitless lithium batteries are the top of the food chain as well to be able to supply power, but you got to be able to charge. we got one in the back. we got another in the front. I'm going to take you to the, to the hood to show you this. Here we go. Give me around the front here. You will see here is the limitless lithium battery. You have a 450 Farad super cap right here, and then you have not one, but two 400 amp alternator to charge this and you're going what in the world is happening right now when you want the big power you got to have big power on the front end too this is as big as it gets with 115 amp hour of per current coming to the battery and if you're a techie right now you're going that is amazing and you're right it is completely rewired basically the whole power infrastructure of this vehicle let's go back to the front now, in a Tahoe, when you do base, and you got a, I mean, a suburban, when you do base, Tahoe and suburban, the suburban being longer because we needed room, because it has four 15 inch, and we're going to get there. Unbelievable. So here we go. I'm going to do a demo, and then we'll go look at the box, supplement box and the AMBRAC. Here we go. Be ready. I'm outside the car because it quite literally hurts. You're going to see a cutaway of the vehicle moving in a minute. So give it a little juice. Be ready. I don't even know if you'll be able to come. Oh, it's the shit. That's ridiculous. It really is. That is a ridiculous amount of sound. Let's go to the middle. I'm sure you see the cutaway while I'm talking of the entire vehicle roof. It even let the windows down. Look, the windows came down without touching the switches. Now, look at this. Here we are. We get into the Trinity world again. Base amplifier, 16,000 watts. Distribution block because we need about a thousand amps of fusible uh, for current for safety. Here's our other battery. Again, now we're at two batteries and a cap. Crossover network, mids and highs again at 3,000 watts, and everything into this custom built box. Now, this right here is a, mo a behemoth to get into this vehicle because of the weight, but we secure it to the vehicle. That way, if there was ever an accident, it won't move back and forth, if that makes sense. Absolutely beautiful how our men came together to make sure all of this is not only safe, but it is absolutely perfect in the way that it is wired to make sure that he can play it like he wants to play it. Let's go back there. <clears throat> and uh, this is where the magic happens. <laughs> I could fit inside this port, as you can see. You see the V at the back that helps to channel air out. Four 15-inch Trinity subs, 4,000 going to each sub each, and this is what they call a band pass enclosure. It allows base to breathe at a very low power, but it also allows it to hold a tremendous amount of power, hence 16,000 watts. Again, we are secure to the vehicle. This is not going to move in case you ever had an accident. But the blessing is, he says, I got a Suburban. 
I don't haul babies, and I don't haul luggage, but I do want base. Bada bing, bada bang. Custom all the way through. I'm so thankful for Austin. He's the one that designed the system. Chris, our top installer, designed and built everything out. This, boys and girls, this, uh, this is what we did. Perfect. When we do a movie theater, surround sound is a very big word, and depending on how you let us come into your home, but this particular family said, we want the best of the best. I, I've got to show you the front. Look at the clarity on this screen. This is a 161 inch, zero degree, zero trim. So this is literally all screen. Look at this clarity. We've all just hear all and all with this stuff. This is absolutely as good as your screen can get. These are called SV Sound Ultra System. So Ultra Sub PB4000s. We got the Ultra Towers front and back. We have a few in the back. It's center channel. Big, big, big power, over 8,000 watts of power. Our flush mount speakers for Atmos are 8 inch called Pro Series by Clips. And this is how it all would look in this thing. Now, with this projector, it is a behemoth. Is that the right word? I'm going to flip you around, come around here, and look at these chairs. These are custom made chairs. This is truly the best of the best in leather. And these are made by Palliser, which is the only American brand. And they have LED lighting, fully reclinable storage chairs storage in the armrest you can put stuff inside here like charge even has a usb port for every single chair i love that they did a three-way back here so they can get comfy and relax with big blanket and stuff but here focus on that this is where our carpenter and kurt so gene and kurt, uh, um, gene and kurt came in and they built the projector into the wall because the projector is this big and you probably see the cutaway of that right now the idea is the lens fires through here to make all this work but you don't lose any people space back here which is so important we have led lighting up into the trays you can see here all of this just comes together absolutely beautiful now for you to understand this with the picture body and we'll come back around front with the picture body which is absolutely the best that i've ever seen it's a sony es projector they make a 5000 series a 6,000 and 7,000, those are the model numbers of them, and it is undeniably the best picture I've ever seen in my life, as you can tell. Now, but what goes with this picture is big, big sound. I'm going to cut away now to a demo, and you're going to freak out. have this Braves game on because a lot of people think movie theater, gotta watch Top Gun, gotta watch Elvis, all this stuff, but this is, you just watch regular old cable if you're a cable or streaming or whatever you want to do and look at the picture quality and it's still in surround sound. Believe it or not, every single sports that you watch in 2023 is filmed in HD and filmed in full surround sound. Whether you have a five channel surround sound or when you have a nine channel surround sound, it is all built in, already built in to be a part of that when you stream and when you do moves. Now, the last thing I want to say about this, this takes time. The phone number is going to come up right here. Me or Kurt will come out there and see you. The idea behind that is the estimate is free. The blessing that is, this was ground zero. All the way down to the carpet was our responsibility to get it all in place. So our carpenter came in and all his cool mojo with the projector and all that. Palliser, custom ordered chairs, custom ordered leather, all power, all lit, the whole nine yards. SB Sound, ultra, th ultra uh, theater sound best of the best. I mean, every single ounce of this is all about the best of the best. And right now you're seeing a cutaway of the remote control. And the blessing is what? One single remote control controls the entire theater. Everything you want to do is so, so, so simple. Again, yeah, there's my phone number. The estimate for this unbelievably Mac Daddy best I've ever heard theater was no cost of design. Bada bing, bada bang. They are ready to get their movie on. This is what we do. When we do uh, courtrooms. Now we do a lot of courtrooms. I'm very, very grateful for the business we've been able to establish with different counties to do their courtrooms because we do a tremendous amount of audio, video, digital, streaming, and recording. And there's a big deal when you had to bring all that together. Now, the, the blessing is, the where my guys come in, is almost all the courtrooms, uh, you know, are 
50 years old or plus you know, because they're all in the center of town. And so you have to very, be very creative to get wires where wires got to be. So here we are, courtroom. Now, first thing we address is digital sound. So you'll see the JBL speakers right there. They're called Control 31s. They are big, big, big sound. We have a set for the front of the room. We have another set for the back of the room. And the idea behind the back ones you'll see right there above the door is that is when people are back there, we need to be able to hear back there. And it keeps it nice and simple. And it's big sound. Everybody was saying, do you need that much sound? Well, it's not really about volume as much as about dispersion. So overall dispersion within the room. These are put in place, and then we have a real-time analyzer. We come in and actually put a graphic EQ in the room to get it where you don't have a lot of hiss, but you have a lot of voice, right? That's number one. Number two, completely controlled. You're sure, I'm sure you've seen a cutaway now. Controlled by an iPad tablet that controls everything in the room for the sound. It can control the recording and it control the HDMI sources, everything. So audio's in place. All brand new microphones. The number one complaint they had is when people walk up here, you couldn't hear or they had to lean into it. Well, guess what? I can be this far away from this microphone and I can hear it throughout the entire place. I have it, right? So no matter what's going on. The witness stand up here, as you'll see, we put in a, a personal monitor here. Right? A separate microphone for the recording of audio, and then this monitor is for evidence, right? So if they're showing an evidence reel, this can actually pull in and out for them to be able to see from the, from the witness stand right here. Very, very nice, right? Now, coming back around here, this is our jury, right, which most of the time we don't have a lot of view of that uh, for the obvious reasons. We have a microphone in case they do have to stand and make a statement. We have a way to do that, too. Plenty of sound out of this microphone as well. Now, you would say, hey, what about when things happen, like we went through for the last three years, where if you had to be able to do, do, be able to do a team or a Zoom or some type of video conference call, that's where the brains come in. We have robotic camera there, we have a robotic camera there, and we have another robotic camera in the back. The idea behind that is we now can see multiple views. In case there's a time where we don't have everybody in court, you got to be able to see <clears throat> the judge, uh, a witness. Uh, sometimes when they have uh, inmates that do theirs, they'll do it by video, and they can do that all right here. Here is the absolute positive icing on the cake. And you'll see here we've got a 100-inch motorized screen that will come out. Now, the blessing of this is if you're in this jury and you come through here, idea is I need to be able to see evidence. Now, this projector that motorized out of the ceiling, I'm sure you've seen a cutaway of that, and all of this, we reconstructed every bit of this ceiling. So all of this was reconstructed to hold that lift. All of this is reconstructed to hold this uh, draper tab tap screen. This is a four-year-old video footage that I just pulled up that I'm literally pulling from my phone onto this. Now I've got, I've got, I've got a way for us to see it there to see it there, and if I'm in the jury, I can see every bit of what's going on, what kind of cars, what's going on. Again, it's, it's literally taking this to a full HD picture on this 100-inch screen, tab-tensioned. The reason that uh, this particular courtroom chose us is because on-site service for two years uh, at no extra charge. Digital audio, digital video, digital recording, digital streaming, and motorized everything up in the ceiling. I mean, y'all... I am, I am honored to be a part of this, and they are ready to do what they do. Justice will be served, and we're a part of that. This is what we do. All right, we are in Monroe County. Look at the size of this building, and we are about to make it safe and secure. This is what we do. Let's get inside and check it all out. All right, now we're inside. It's kind of, I always say, the belly of the beast. When you're dealing with a building that is this big, you have to have a lot of cameras. You have to have a lot of view. You have to have a camera that will do... You know, not just 50 feet, but 125 feet if it needs to, or 10 feet if it needs to. It needs to be able to go 108 or 138 degrees. It needs to be able to do day and night vision. And in these buildings, we also have audio and video on every camera. So they literally are locked down and safe and secure. The idea behind that is I come out, and you're going to see my phone number come up right here. I come out and we walk off, the, it doesn't matter how, what size, was two cameras or, or 30 cameras, we walk the whole site off. And then we literally find out where you need most of your interest in, and then we think about the things that we might miss in the case of there an accident or whatever the things happen. So bad guys do happen, bad gals do happen at times. Here is our grid, as you see. Now we still have some empty spots that we decide to add more later. And I'm going to show you spots where there's no people, uh, just for privacy. But I just want you to get an idea. Wait till you see this clarity. This is going to mess with you. I mean, look at that. I can see the shine on the floor. I can see the door, the light. Anything that happens. In this four-year area, we have a perfect view, even this first part of the stairs. Let me show you something else. Look at this. 
we want to be able to see the street. We need to see the perimeter of the vehicle. I can see all the way to the end of the street. That's where the end of the street is. I can see the difference in these cars. I can see if it's a Kia, if it's a Nissan, if it's a Ford. I, everything I need to see that I need to see that happens, including my sidewalk and my AC, which this is a very important part of the grid. And that's just one of 30 vision. Here we go, right? Check this out. You want to see down here? We've got to be able to see entrances. Right here I get. I got a door here, a door here, and a door here. I've got that scene, and I still have audio and video. Let me go back. I'm trying to make sure I keep it in the privacy side of it. Look at this. Here's another street view. Check this out. I can see. Boom, boom, boom. And this camera overlaps the one we saw over there. The reason that is, is most of the time when you do it, they want to have two or three views of the accident or the bad girl or the bad guy that's doing whatever bad things that they're doing. Check this out. Wonderful view here. Parking. Here's our handicap access. Car, car, car. You can even read the logo on the van. We're talking, we're, there's 130 feet between here and there. If you can still read the logo on the van because these things are 8 megapixel with a day-night vision filter. The idea is all of these are recording 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. With this, you're seeing cutaways of some of the cameras throughout the building right now. The idea behind that is they're not gigantic like this. You know, like a lot of times you see those big old giant cameras, but they have all the effect of those old school cameras and then 10 times the resolution. The idea is we service them on site. The blessing of being able to work uh, up here in Monroe County, we've done multiple buildings for them. The reason that is, is we do the service on site. You're not down. We know, understand how important security is. Another blessing of this is, I'm sure you've seen a cutaway of it on the phone right now, is they can link all their facilities together to be able to view. We only, literally, only sell the best of the possibly best to make sure you get uh, what your hard-earned money is buying. So here we are, safe and sound, and Ken's, this is what we do. All right. We are in the season. This is when we are doing our backyards. We're doing our outdoor kitchens. We're doing our swimming pools and our hot tubs. And of course, what comes with that is entertainment and music. And of course, this is definitely a part of our forte of what we do. Now, when you do what they call a stake speaker, this is a stake speaker. And so these stake speakers, because they go down in the ground, they're made by Clips, made in America. These can go in the ground all the way down to the ground, 12 inches and back up about eight inches, depending on if you need to see over shrubbery or pine tree or anything with that. The coolest thing about this is, is there's a, we have separate amplifiers that run this. So we have six of these drivers around the pool and a subwoofer. Yes, I said subwoofer. And the idea is you can get, I'm gonna give you just a little bit of juice right now just so you can get an idea about volume. Give me just a little bit. And it's just crystal clear. Now, the blessing of this is when you have a big area like this, you wanna have fullness of sound, but you don't wanna have just one speaker where if somebody's over here, they're getting blown out of the water or blown into the water, just so you can hear on the other side of the pool. So come with me this way take these and we kind of place them out anywhere from 12 to 20 feet apart as you see another one there nice and clean in the ground completely weatherproof and listen to this they have a lifetime warranty from clips come this way i'm gonna get a little more volume here the idea behind this is the reason you feel that so if you have a system from us right now and you're watching this infomercial you're feeling our subwoofer do what it do because this is a 12 inch subwoofer that has 2,000 watts and it goes in the ground so we literally will set it in the ground it goes about this far into the ground we have to put pebble rock and stuff and all that to keep water and stuff out of it that literally also lifetime come this way and if you look around it kind of goes into this end right here now the blessing of this is it will give you a lot of volume I'm gonna give you a lot of volume now to give you an idea tremendous clarity of what you will notice here listen to that it is like concert series out here listen to that clarity my phone number will come up right here that's what we do me or one of the brainiacs come out here we design the system this was all mud when we started with this thing is and now it's all kind of coming back together so big huge power and clips swimming pool summertime and kins this is what we do all right, we are inside New Heights Church on Lamar Road in Macon, Georgia. And when you have a building this big, you have to think about lighting. You have to think about sound. You have to think about laser projectors. A lot that goes on because everything has to be oversized to be able to fill this building up. Starting with the front image. Now, this is Sony's newest laser projector. They make three different series of this laser. This is the big boy, and it gives you the best resolution and extreme brightness of about 6,000 lumens of laser, especially when you have a screen that is 18 feet 
wide. So this is 18 feet wide. And this is actually a jutted out part, a framed out part of the building that was painted in white versus a screen. And look how bright that is. It's absolutely unbelievable. So again, 18 feet wide. We're just showing a basic side. This is ProPresenter 7, which we also install on our computers and train as well. So we have ProPresenter 7 to put up our media, put up announcements, put up pictures. Anything you want to do up here, as you see right here, crystal clear. On top of that, when, they, when we came in here, he said, we need lighting. So we need stage lighting so we can see people for streaming, but we also need stage lighting so we can see when we're, when we're up here doing our praise band. They have a massive praise band. On top of that, he said, we need bigger sound. You'll see over in this corner here, an 18-inch, 2,500-watt subwoofer that gives us our bottom end. We put new Sanctuary 15-inch two-way speakers up on the wall here. And then he said, hey, well, on top of that, we want accent lighting. So as you'll see up on these trusses, now you're probably seeing a cutaway right now of us on our scaffold. We had three layers of scaffold to be able to get up onto these trusses and we added lighting here. I'm going to walk through. So this gives us the main floor lighting, which can be any color that you choose. We have spotlights to spot for the stage, a spotlight to hit their cross. Then we had back-end lighting on the second set of trusses. This is a good fill in too. Again, you're just seeing one of the rainbow of colors that go here. And then in the back here, we lit this up even more to light up this kind of rear seating area. It's kind of a coffee area in the back of the sanctuary. Now, on top of that, <laughs> we did a rear laser projector, and this one is more about uh, brightness than anything else, so we used it for that. And as you see, we did these sound panels many, many years ago, and because you have such a big building, it's hard to get the echo out of a building that is as, literally as big as a gym. So we did all these sound panels because the first place you want to address sound panels is on the rear wall because of reverberation. Again, laser projector at 26 feet up in the air in this rear lighting. All of it is controlled from that custom-built booth right there that allows their Apple computer to control all of their streaming. They can control all of their lighting, all of their projectors. Anything that's happening is controlled from that booth that keeps it nice and simple and kind of out of the congregation way. Coming back around, I want you to see the full size of this. Look at the size of this sanctuary and how big a deal this is to have this much area. Now, New Heights Church in Macon, Georgia, they have kind of a traditional contemporary service. You need to visit them. I'm going to pass it over to their pastor here in just a second. But the idea behind this is they can serve all age groups. They have hallways here full of Sunday school rooms, which is super, super nice. Uh, eventually, we're going to get in here and, and, uh, and, and get even more in the security side of their business. But when you have full-on laser projectors, full-on Chave digital lighting, right? You have sanctuary speakers, digital amplifiers, everything controlled from a digital booth. And the fact that they let us come in here and kind of just bump everything up to the next notch means what? It means that they're more invested in making sure that your worship service is uh, dynamite. Is that the right word? Dude, my phone number is going to come up right here. This is a very important phone number uh, because when you call me, I will come out at no charge to you wherever you are. We know we do the tri-state area and I will design the system for you. Then we talk about budget, talk about wish list. We've done this over time with this church because they'll have a couple of wish lists and we'll do number one, then we'll do number two and number three, and it's really turned out to be an amazing setup uh, for church worship. Again, one more time, there's my phone number. I will come out. We can do all this together and make sure your church is a uh, top notch. This is what we do. Awesome. Thank you again for being a part of our show all the way through 2023. You see behind me it says Happy New Year 2024 because that is right around the corner. Literally, you watch these this week and next week's a brand new show that starts for 2024. I thank you for being a part of that. Again, social media is right here. Very important for you to follow us on all of our different social medias. That shows all the cool things that you guys allow us to do. I always end the show with uh, scripture and that is Isaiah 43, 18. And what it says is, don't ponder ancient old things. That's my words for it. What it basically says is, whether you've had a good 23 or a bad 23 or just the last bad five years, I had somebody say that to me the other day, God says, let it go so you can accept the new year. And that is right around the corner. Come see us at Ken's and Macon and Warner Robins. I am, I'm seeing the evidence. I'm quite sure that it wasn't me. We got it. Cars, trucks, golf carts, golf carts. I'm positive. Now that I look back on I know that wasn't me. I mean, it looked a lot like me, but I don't think it was me. Name it. Your dreams can be made come true. Oh, my gosh. The game show host? Yes, it was wearing a Ken shirt, and I answered to the name of Ken, even though my name's Michael. But I'm positive it wasn't me. Your Honor, I just don't think it was me. No. Hmm. All right, we are at Taco Loco in Tifton, where we're waiting on Gene to get off the ladder for the last hour and 25 minutes. 
There's Jarvis waiting. There's Cody waiting. There's Anthony waiting. And there's the muscle man. For the newest in technologies, security cameras, churches, I just ran out of what I was supposed to say next. You remember that one day? I was first doing commercial, my dad would hold poster boards up. And I'd be like this, reading like this. I took 28 breaths. Is it breaths or breathes? David, don't tell me how to do my job. I do it in my hands. And since 1970, I... I, I <laughs> and this big mammoth, is that the right word? Mammoth, go back here, let me show you this. Say, so, oh, am I wrinkly? Am I okay? Sorry important. My mom watches this show. <laughs> All righty. It's our birthday. <clears throat> Ready? Yep. We're just going to wing it, okay? Yep. Ready, set, go. Best brands in the business, and this month you get buy one, get one half price from the best brands in the business. <laughs> business clip speakers. <laughs> best brand. Dude. Version of OLED. But now they make many. Uh, <laughs> When your phone rings through your amplified sound system, that's funny. All right, every every car on earth is coming by right now. Like, the gates are open. And it's a NASCAR race because we're on Mercer and everybody goes 75 miles an hour on Mercer. It's August already. Oh, got a gnat. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is my son, Cooper. Cooper's been in the business since he was 15 years old. He is in our custom uh, home theater side of the business. Uh, super intelligent man right here. He's, amazing. He's obviously very handsome as well. Uh, Cooper, tell him what you love about working at uh, your dad's business. Um, I love, um, ooh, the overtime? The um, <laughs> um, no, I, I love I love getting home when it's dark. I Is that oh, the same thing, hold on. <laughs> Mike Jones here again. That's a little wobbly there. Sorry. Ready? Set? Yeah. Go. Woo! Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, go. You're on air. Go. Three, two, one, go. Three. All right. I thought you were saying go, Mike, go home. Go. No, 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 you can't. No, stop taking time off. We're going to go forward on that one. Sorry, let's try this. <laughs> oh, no. Arguably, the most famous radio we sell right now, or the strongest radio we sell right now, is this Sony. This is a 10 inch floating panel, as you see right. Pioneer, sorry. Ready? Set. You said sell Sony. That look good? That's silver. Ready? Set. When you use my phone number and we can, oh, it's going to be a commercial, sorry. Shoot! No. I got it already. Really? Yeah. We don't need you anymore. What the? We don't need you anymore. Yellow? Oh, I got you. Check one. It was just too quiet. I was just being too quiet? It was quiet in there. That's a rare moment. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get inside and check this magnificent, wonderful, super duper church sound system. Ah, uh, yes, son. Can I help you out? <laughs> Yeah, I just bought this car stereo here last week, yeah. and I can't figure out how to install it right. Can you help me out? Why, well, sure, son. Rodney, come take this man's Porsche around back and see what you can do to it. Well, okay, boss. Wait a minute. I don't what? think he knows what he's doing. Well, of course he doesn't know what he's doing. Oh, my God. I just bought that car, man. Right, son. You just bought it. Hey, what's he doing with that uh, chainsaw? He's installing uh, your radio. What do you think he's uh, doing? Look uh, what he's doing to my car. I know. Makes you proud, don't it? No, for just $99. $99? Uh, Are you crazy? Uh, of course uh, I'm crazy. At Ken Stereo Junction, you'll never have to worry about your car when we install your stereo. At Ken's, we custom install every one of our stereos to fit your particular automobile. And we do it free.